Hi, welcome to Mikate Crossing. Okay, so I know it's the middle of June and I've been a bit waffly in the path that I'm actually taking with my tarot journal at the moment. I sort of went through the romantic tarot and thought, what deck am I going to pick up next? I've really been focusing each day on the Instagram tarot challenge with um, Lion Hearts, so you can find that on Instagram. That has been um, with the Once Upon a Tarot Challenge. I've really been sort of focusing on that, not much else, as you can sort of tell with the few odd videos that I've had. Now I'm going to focus on creating a table in regards to the Magical Nordic Tarot. Now I have edged this um, deck, as you can see, in a sort of a metallic -y, purpley colour. So I quite like the edging to that. So this is the deck that I'm going to be sort of focusing on for this, um, for the rest of the month, for the next couple of weeks anyway. And I sort of want to see what I would put on my altar in regards to that. So I've got an incense holder, um, got my tea lights, I would maybe add um, this little dragon to it, to the table for today. And definitely I feel like um, the Mookite, and I know that's sort of an Australian crystal, but I just felt the colours, sort of what I want to go with, I don't know why, I just sort of felt through drawn to my Mookite um, there. Now I've also got my tiger's eye, um, I know it's a bonsai, but I just sort of felt like tree, it's quite cool. Um, the rose quartz, of course, with love, let's add that to one side. And I'm also very drawn to the um, selenite tea light holder, of course I would like some on the table, a few on the table. You have fluorite, which is very similar colour to the Magical Nordic. Leopard light, of course, add, and also the um, Lapis Lazuli um, Pendulum, the Macabre Pendulum. So adding that, just clearing away all the energies from, last, from the last um, lot of readings I've done. So clearing that energy. Preparing me for what lies ahead. So let's have a look at the Magical Nordic Tarot. Um, it comes in a two-piece box, which is quite nice. Now what I do is I actually take the inserts out of the box and add a organza bag to for the deck at this time, which is quite cool. The books, let's have a look at the book, The Magical Nordic Tarot by Jane Wallace. This is another one of her decks. Um, gorgeous book, plenty of, a couple of spreads in there. So quite a bit of information, getting to know your cards. So what we want to do is sort of, <coughs> I want to really sort of dive a little bit deeper. So I want to begin by reading this, and I'm not going to read this all on here. This is just, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So I begin, so it tells you about getting to know your cards, beginning a reading, what to actually do, um, and what to do when you finish a reading, and then it's got the spreads. So a one card reading. So let's look at today. What I'm going to do is look at the following spreads will help you get started on your tarot journey. If you're new to tarot, try starting with the spreads like the one card below. But let's have a look and think about what overall energy this deck is going to provide for me for the next two weeks. So let's have a look and see what the energy of the next two weeks with working with this deck is going to provide. Ooh! What's that out there? Let's do both of these. Talks about charity talks about generosity, so it feels like a lot of giving, feels like this deck is going to be doing a lot of giving. 
going to be very generous, going to be giving a lot, and it's also going to allow for choices to be made. Seven of Cups. So it's about making sure those choices are wise, it's making sure looking at what's being offered and being discerning about those choices as well. So it feels like there's going to be a lot of giving. It's interesting. So even though this is a one card spread about the energies, it sort of gives me two cards to sort of reflect on together. It's about the give and you know what they're going to give to me, but also about the choices it's going to offer. So I need to think about, um, even though it's going to be generous and being very kind and the way it's going to give to me, I do have to be discerning about those those choices. So interesting, interesting. So let's look at um, that being the overall energy. I'm going to include, let's look at the past, present and future. So the time on the three card layout is a wonderful way of exploring you or the parent or me, past, present and future. You can either focus on a particular issue or ask the cards for a general insight into the influences affecting you and my life at this time. Me and my life at this time. The first card symbolizes the past. Will highlight any past events that have led to your current situation or one still impacting you now, while the second card represents the present or focus on the issues influencing your life today and how or my life today and how to navigate my way through them. The third card indicates the future and will suggest the likeliest outcome on how things are now, based on how things are now. But remember this is by no means set in, no mean set in stone and can change depending on your free will and action. So don't be too disheartened if the outcome isn't what you're looking for. Begin by jumping the deck and asking your insights into your past, present and future. Select the three cards using whatever however you choose to do it and lay them out as shown below. Turn them over and interpret the meaning based on their position in the spread. So let's have a look at based on what I'm looking at here in regards to the um, the giving of the deck. The deck's going to be very giving to me, but knowing that the choices are actually my own, let's see what my past, present and future is in regards to this situation. So this is going to be quite interesting. So let's look at the past, the present, and the future. Okay, so the past talks about six of swords being boundaries. So very much about um, in the past learning about how important boundaries are as you shift towards um, moving towards smoother waters it's just as I leave behind the chaos and everything that's going on I've learned very much about creating boundaries in the present learning about my dreams and where I want to go looking at um, the news that's received the sense of um, to me the knight of cups is very much about maybe learning about ro be, being romantic or being acceptance of news that are coming my way. Maybe that's what I'm doing at the moment. And again, we've got boundaries with the devil card. So in the future, it feels like I'll be looking at my um, the freedom that I actually have and how I deal with that. So that seems to be quite a huge... Um, aspect boundaries seem to be really important and looking at the acceptance of what's actually going on from the news that I receive or the romance in my life. Oh, there's lots of things I feel could be quite contemplative of that. So that's something I'm going to have to really think about today before I move on tomorrow and explore the different spreads in this. So what I've done today is looked at the energies of the deck and how that's affected me and how that's going to affect me during this journey. 
So really, I think it's very much about learning about the shift or the challenges that I've had in the past and allowing me to actually a sense of acceptance in some way or surrendering to the moment. Quite interesting um, in regards to that. So this is going to be quite interesting journey indeed in this process. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. So yeah, really, really interesting. And moving ahead again, looking at the boundaries. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links below and check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and peace of being.